My name is Mr. TPG and you are watching the TPG channel. So on a lovely Saturday afternoon, I was just thinking of what to do for my next video. I had a few ideas. As in my previous video, I told you guys that I don't wish to do political videos all the time. But the things that is happening is this country is getting ridiculous day by day. I think the politicians in this country thinks we are a joke. And I can even forgive the politicians. But I don't know how to describe this guy. Is he a publicity seeker? Is he an idiot? Is he a celebrity? Well, no. It's none of that. Do you know like in your house, sometimes you have cockroaches? That is what this guy is to this country. So as I was saying earlier, I was just enjoying my Saturday afternoon when I heard this stupid story. Cakap, okay. Uh, bagi pengundi PRK, uh, po, uh, P, apa ni pengundi Port Dickson, uh, ramai yang teruja sebenarnya uh, disebabkan personaliti-personaliti yang bakal bertanding ini. Um, terutamanya uh, kemunculan secara tiba-tiba Saiful Bukhari mengumumkan beliau uh, nak bertanding untuk PRK kali ini. And this stupid story really spoiled my mood. I'm sure you guys know about Saiful Bukhari. He's the guy who said that Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim sodomized him. And as you guys know, Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim did go into jail because of that case. I mean, before that, there was a lot of drama. He went even swear on the holy book of Al Quran. And. You guys know the drama. And when you think that this guy is vanished, he comes back to contest against D.S. Anwar in the Port Dixon by election. And there's only one reason that he's coming back to contest against Dato Sri Anwar. And because he thinks that we Malaysians are idiots. Yes. Because only a person who thinks that Malaysians are idiot are idiots will come to this decision. So you guys know about a lot of about rape victims. This guy makes them look bad. No rape victim in the world will shake the hands of their raper. While this mofo did this earlier. So I'm going to forget about that for a minute. And I know you say that you are not running because of any personal uh, reasons, because of Anwar Ibrahim, that you want to improve the lives of the people in Port Dixon. You could have done it in GE14. Why you did not run then? How come when Datu Sri Anwar Ibrahim wishes to run in Port Dixon, your love for Port Dixon suddenly arise? You could have just contested in the previous elections. Why now? And you have the nerve to tell that you have no personal reasons, which is only a idiot will believe and if you want to take revenge do you think the elections in this country is a joke do you know how much money it costs to conduct an election the number of independent candidates in the Port Dixon by election is increasing day by day to be honest I have no idea who these people are I thought at least Stevie, he deserved a chance. He won't win, but at least his message got across, his message will get across. But this is getting ridiculous day by day. I mean, I think Saiful, he doesn't want to get over things. He just wants to remind everyone in Malaysia that he got 
rate he got sodomized which is very very ridiculous i pity the people of port dickson it's like they are being used i know that saiful contesting in the elections he has every right to do so we wanted to genuinely help the people of port dickson or any constituency in that matter that is fine i mean he has the right no one can question him by mocking the elections in this country just to solve your personal vendetta that is like you have insulted the whole country with your actions and in the by election every vote saiful gets is going to prove that he has every right to do so thinking the emulations are idiots because definitely there would be some people who vote for him but yes that proves that what he feels about emulations are right if you do not like anwar ibrahim you can always vote for stevi or any other independent candidate you know but saiful is a joke i mean we in the recent days malaysia has always been having bad news in terms of internationally even in my previous clickbait video where i said rosma was framed at the end of the video i said if you guys are outside malaysia and you think that only malaysia is only about corruption and flights we have a lot of other things other than that as well but i certainly did not mean this kind of news it's depressing i wanted to do a video entirely different topic something about non politics but this news had to be discussed about so if i know i'm not popular if this video get 10 views also is a big is is a big achievement for me and out of that 10 views one person no saiful personally saiful i just want to say you are a pathetic shit which really ridiculous which ridicule this country on a whole another level and you do not deserve to run for the elections as you are running not to improve the people in the constituency but just to seek publicity and take revenge so go yourself not literally